So this right here is our Bitact Gamma Turbo and today's video we're going to be looking at how to actually monitor your miners through your Bitcoin node as you can see that running by there. So we're running our own Bitcoin node and our own instance of public pool and we're going to show you how to get better monitoring on this node of your Bitax miners. So we can actually monitor things like the temperature, the hash rate and the voltage over the next 24 hours to give us better figures and look at overclocking in the future. So the way that we're doing this is through our Bitcoin node, which we do have a video on the channel. I'll leave it linked in the description, but it's using an OS called Umbrel, and that has a bunch of apps in the app store, which you can utilize, especially for Bitcoin mining and finance overall. But today we're focusing on how to monitor our bit axes and our solo mining pool and how to get more data on our miners. So let's head over to the computer and let's check out Bitax Sentry. Okay, so as I said, today we're going to be looking at an app called Bitax Sentry. This is a way to monitor all of your Bitaxes whilst also using your solo mining Bitcoin node. So this is our solo Bitcoin node that we have currently running and that is also pointing towards public pool and we're mining solo Bitcoin through the public pool instance. I do have two videos on the channel that will show you how to actually set that up. Firstly, how to build the Bitcoin node and then how to attach it to public pool to start solo mining. I'll leave those linked in the description. And we also have some of the stats up here, which is the hash rate, three miners, block height and blocks found. So there is a lot of information you can pull from public pool in general on your workers, as you can see here. But I think that there's definitely a need for this app if you are gonna wanna monitor all of your bit axes. So you can just monitor them through the pool if you really want to, but it doesn't really give you that massive amount of information that you'd want to look at. So it only gives you the hash rate and the session difficulty and then the uptime. So it's not really that much information. There is also on the XOS a way to view information, which is in the swarm dashboard that gives you a lot more information, but it also doesn't give you kind of the stats over time. So if you're looking to overclock benchmark something, you want stats on a miner that go for more than 24 hours basically and give you a kind of overview of how your miner is performing. So while setting up our Bitcoin node and looking at the apps on Umbrel, we did stumble across this Bitax Sentry app. The way you find it is you go to the app store and go to Bitcoin and it will just be by here, Bitax Sentry. So a little bit about it, it's monitoring and management solution for Bitax ASIC miners, but I believe you can also monitor anything else that is using the web IP address. So even the Avalon Nano, which will plug in and give a go to see if it can monitor that as well. And then it tracks the performance, temperature and status of your miner from the single dashboard. And you can also get alerts when your miner hits a new difficulty or when the temperature or voltage are exceeded. So it's kind of like this swarm version, but with more information and it also tracks the information. So your dashboard on a normal bit axe will track the information in kind of this chart by here, but it does constantly update after around two to three hours, it deletes the old data and brings up new data. So the average efficiency isn't really kind of the average, it's just the updating average over time you don't actually get a good figure. And this changes every single time you refresh the XOS. So it doesn't store the average data. It just stores it for that session that you're looking at. So I think it's very useful to use this app to actually show you how efficient you are and what the temperature fluctuation is between your miners. So it's a pretty simple setup once you have Umbrel installed on your Bitcoin node. All you wanna do is download it and click open. And that's gonna bring it up here. So we already have our Gamma Turbo, which is this Gamma right here. And then we already have the IP address entered in by there. So on just this overall dashboard here, it gives hash rate, the temperature, the voltage, and the best difficulty. And then you can click in to view the history of the miner. So a little bit about this, if we go into history, you can see we've only been running it for a couple of minutes, but we can edit some of the settings that I would personally go for. And we'll show you how to add your own miner but it gives you hash rate for the last 24 hours. And then it gives temperature for the last 24 hours, which is good because you can see drops and peaks in temperatures over time. Show when your temperature is actually functioning the best. 
It also shows voltage. So if you think you're having problems with your voltage being regulated, it will show in here. So those are the three that you can really monitor. And I think hash rate is a good one because you don't get that on the XOS dashboard. And temperature and voltage are also good as well because it shows the fluctuation over time, at least over the last 24 hours. So it also keeps this data, which is a good thing. So it keeps it for 30 days so that you can actually view all of the data as time goes on. And there's a couple of settings you can choose to change as well. So poll intervals, this is 15 minutes. So it's going to take a reading every 15 minutes. I would actually like it to be every one minute and then hold the data for 30 days. You can set minimum temperatures just in case and maximum just in case as well. And then minimum voltage as well. It also lets you put to your Discord so you can get notifications of when it goes offline or when it hits under or over these temperatures and voltages. So we're going to put it to one minute and we're also going to add our other two miners that are currently running to our pool. So we just add endpoint by here and we're going to get it from the swarm. So we have the Zyber 8 and then the Bitax Hex. So just copy this and paste it into there like that. And then we also want to add another one. Copy that and paste it into there like so. Then we click Save Settings. And there we go. We have our three miners currently running. We can view the hash rate of them, the temperature of each of them, this one's stuck at 60, I think that's because we set it to 60 degrees in terms of the temperature control. You have the voltage, so you can see that one's slightly under 12, that one's slightly above, and this one's above as well. You can also see best difficulty, and you can see the temperature and hash rate by there. So as I said, it's recording every minute now, so it should give us updated figures over the last 24 hours. But we're going to let this run for about two hours, and then we'll show you kind of what the chart actually looks like after running for all of that. So whilst we're letting that run as well, you can pick between either all of the miners right here, or you can pick singly. So if you go to all miners, you can see them all spread out like that, or you can just click into each individual one and view the stats by there. So let's let this run, and then we'll show you some of the results and why it's a little bit better than the swarm, or if you're just monitoring it from a pool. So after letting this run for about two or three hours, we can see here, our uh, bit axe miners so one thing that you can do is you can also edit the name so we're going to go and rename all of these to what they actually should be and then that gives us a better figure and then we'll look at the actual dashboard and see the variances over the past couple of hours so we've changed it there we have the bit axe gamma turbo the zyber 8 and the bit axe hex by there now we can actually go into the history and we can view the total hash rate. So you can see it's split out between them like we saw earlier. And we've actually got this accumulating every minute. So we can put it onto the hour chart and that's going to give us every minute update for all of these hash rates. And you can put it to six hours and 24 hours. So this gives us the hash rate. Obviously the Zyber 8 doing a lot of hash rate. You can see here 4.69, and then you have the Bitax Gamma Turbo at 1.96 and the Bitax Hex at 2.3. And then we come down here, we can also see the temperatures. So the Gamma Turbo is just set at 60 degrees. And then we have the Zyber 8 and the Hex, which are actually running very cool right now at around 45 to 48 degrees on both of them which is pretty steady. So the temperature hasn't really dropped off too much, but I'm sure after nighttime, when it gets a bit colder, these temperatures will actually dip off. And then you can also see the voltage by here. So we have 12 volts for the Bitax Hex and the Bitax Gamma, which are slightly above 12 volts. And then the Zyber 8 is actually slightly under 12 volts. I'm sure if you actually put a Bitax onto this as well, you'd have extra chart showing you the five volt section down here. But because all of these are run on 12 volt, that's all we can really see for now. You might actually have to hook up a bit X and show you that as well in the future. So what this is also gonna do, as we said in the settings, is how long to keep the historical data. So this will actually produce data over time and then save it into your Umbrel files. So the way you get to this is you click on apps and you click on bit X century by there and then you can view it in here when it actually makes a file. So you can see all of that saved in the Umbrel folders by there. 
that was mainly it. It's just a quick video to show you guys that if you do have that Bitcoin node running as well on Umbrel, you can also get this to monitor all of your miners. There's a lot of information that you can kind of derive from this. I hope that there's some updates coming as well that give it more features such as things like efficiency and what difficulties you're actually hitting in the last 24 hours, something like that. That would actually be useful to know on your miner. This is just a quick video how to set it up, what it looks like, how to use it, and hopefully there's updates coming in the future. Let me know your thoughts on this, if it's better than the swarm or if it's better than just looking at the pool. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content like this.